We're going to take a quick break from traits because I noticed that the uh, the next example it uh, it uses a concept that we haven't learned yet, and so we're going to learn it now. And that concept is uh, new types, but at the same time, there's also something called type aliases, and they uh, they kind of belong together. So we're going to learn them together. And uh, we'll start with type alias because it's really easy, and it's just a uh, a different name for the exact same type, like literally exactly the same. And um, I'll show you, uh, it's really easy to declare. You write uh, type, and let's say we want to, uh, you know, uh, make something called uh, my string, and uh, it's, uh, it's a string. And um, when you do that, it'll be exactly the same as a string from uh, from Rust point of view. It's uh, There's no difference. This is only, um, only to make it readable for us, or uh, you know, give ourselves a hint about something. So you can see, uh, let's say, a uh, string from, let's see, this is uh, some right here. So that's a, that's a regular string. And then let's make y a my string. And then we'll print them and uh, compare them. And we'll say x equals y. And then this will show you that uh, this will be true. And that is because from Rust's point of view, there's no difference. So. You're not changing anything on, on the back. And the uh, the most common use for uh, for a type alias is when you have a like a really long signature and uh, you, you hate looking at it every time you hate typing it and you need something that's readable. And uh, I'll show you an example of that. So let's say we are writing this function that uh, returns something. And this something is going to be a vec of a vec, of a vec, of a vec, of an array with uh, four numbers in it. And what's that thing right there? So we can, uh, we can just tell the compiler to tell us, and it says, hold on a second, this, uh, I think you're trying to return this, and that is exactly what we are trying to return, um, except for this, uh, instead of just a random integer, we will choose one because we have to. And so this is our our funky type that we're returning, and it's kind of long. And so we are going to uh, you know we don't like to look at that every time we use it. So we'll uh, we'll change it to uh, my number. My vec. We're going to call it my vec, and we're going to do this. So we take this, take my vec equals this long signature, and now return something. We just return a my vec, and now every time we look at uh, return something, we can see it. Oh, right, uh, we're returning a my vec, which uh, you know this is probably meaningful to us when we to return these uh, arrays all the time for some reason. So that's new type. That was really easy, and uh, oh sorry, type alias. And uh, now let's look at new type. And new type, you uh, it's it's a tuple struct. Basically, so you um, it's kind of like a workaround because when you have a tuple, you know you access the first item with uh, dot zero, and when you do this, you have to. Uh, that's how you get inside it. So uh, it looks like this. So let's um, say we want to create this my string uh, struct, and we want it to be different from a string. So we can do this and put string inside, and now. If we want to make one, we would say uh, net x equals my string, and you can't do that because my string doesn't have any any uh, traits. So what you do is you go inside, and then you make the string. So a string from, and uh, put the string inside here, and that is how that works. And so if you want to print uh, my string with x. If I'll comment this out so I can show you how it works. If it's going to run in time, yep. Yeah. And so it, uh, you know, it created it. it. Said we didn't use it. That's fine. And so if we try to print it, it's not going to work because uh, we were trying to print a my string, which doesn't have display, doesn't have this and that. But that also shows you that um, that you can implement. Uh, on this, which is uh, which is where new type is kind of cool because you can't uh, 
You can't do like a implement display for a string. You can't implement uh, traits on, on the you know, types that other people have made. Um, but you, you can um, you can do it here. So you can say uh, I derive uh, debug, and now we can uh, if we debug print our my string, and uh, so there you go. That's our uh, that's our my string. And of course, if you want to do all the all the regular things to a that you would do to a string, then you just access it because it's a tuple and uh, x dot zero, and that's totally fine because you are. You know, you're working with all the all the traits and the uh, the abilities that a string has, uh, and not the not the my string. So uh, I think uh, the coolest part about uh, new types is that you can uh, kind of pretend that you're uh, like you're making something new, and you can kind of uh, you know, give it its own traits and do your own things. But uh, inside, you you always have this uh, access to the uh, the type that's inside. So that is how that uh, works, and in the Next video, we're going to uh, see that in the example.